keynote speech. And if our suspect is still out there, he's still a threat. Did we get any prints off that duffel bag? Uh, not yet, sir. CSU is still dusting the car, the notebook, and everything else in the bag, including the rifle. Now, we have serial numbers on the rifle, and we're looking into those. And our victim. How did Melanie Rogers get mixed up in this? Somehow, she stumbled upon his plot, and he killed her. Oh, oh excuse me. It's the mayor. Keep me posted. Mm -hmm. We might have a description of him. But until we apprehend this man, I recommend you postpone your speech. Is that really necessary? I mean, isn't the threat all but neutralized? But we haven't stopped him. Look, we're talking about someone that is ruthless, methodical. Someone that killed Melanie Rogers just to keep her from talking. That suggests a person that is intent on seeing this through. Yes, but you just said you could increase his security detail. Look, this isn't just any conference. The senator is going to unveil a far-reaching environmental initiative that is the cornerstone of his term. We have issued dozens of press credentials. Senator, I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm speaking at that conference. This keynote address puts me on the national stage. I'm not going to run and hide just because some wacko with a notebook made a threat. Now I suggest that you people do whatever it takes to stop this man. Thank you. Very well, Senator. Detective Beckett will need a moment with you. Why? Because she's leading the investigation. Is there some reason why you don't want to work with Detective Beckett? Let's find somewhere private. Shall we, Detective? Asking for an update. What's the latest? The serial number on that rifle led us to a hunting store in Patterson, New Jersey. The owner ID'd our suspect from the sketch. The paperwork indicates that several firearms were purchased, but the name and address are all bogus. Okay, take a few units to canvas the area near the store and take the sketch of our suspect. Detective Esposito, mm -hmm. anywhere from CSU. Yes, sir. They discovered part of a receipt with a smudge on it in the duffel bag. We're trying to get a partial print off of that. Now, there's no point of sale on the receipt, but the skew number matched that hat. The manufacturer sent it over a list of outlets in the tri-state area, but there's over 200 locations. Focus on the ones in Jersey first. 24 hours before Bracken speaks. Maybe Beckett will have better luck with those three pieces. Living off the grid. Got something. We canvas near a diner McManus used to frequent. An SRO desk clerk just ID'd him. He's been staying there a month. Is there anything new? Nothing yet on McManus, but a search of his room turned up wires, detonator, traces of C4. Looks like he was building a bomb. A bomb? Uh, did anyone find it? No. If he built something, it's either with him or already out there waiting to go off. He took someone close to me. He killed my mother. And then he went after my friends. He even tried to kill me. Is she talking about Bracken? She's just trying to get through to him any way he can. She's losing him. You're not like me. You're making stuff up, making up stories. If you went through what I went through, you would want to see him dead. Everything that I told you was true. Detective? A word. Sir. Detective. Sir, I can do this. I can reach it's you. It's over, Detective. Just give me another minute. I just got a call from the feds. They found the bomb. McManus rented a box at a post office. The C4 was there. He wired it into a vest. He also obtained credentials for the conference somehow. Well, thank you, Captain, for everything you've done. Well, actually, Detective Beckett deserves most of credit. She led the team. Excuse me, Senator. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor. It was Penelope, wasn't it? Well, after what Hannah did to her marriage, I wouldn't blame her. Okay, see, Penelope kept her family afloat after Bob lost his job. And then she gives Hannah this, this big break. And then Hannah repays her by screwing her worthless excuse of a husband. You're a fan of Wives of Wall Street? Oh, yes, the best show on TV. Why? I don't, I just assumed that a woman like you would prefer more sophisticated fare. Excuse me? 
What did you just say? Hey, Lanny, what's up? I'm sending you a picture of a fingernail fragment I pulled from the victim's scalp. I figured it came from the killer during the attack. Can you run DNA? It's already happening. Great, thank you. I can tell you who lives here. I know this building. It's from the show. This is Margot's place somewhere on the Upper West, south of 83rd. Wait, that means Margot lives right around the corner she from where Hannah come from built. anywhere. There's no way we can narrow that down, bro. Maybe there is. I spoke to a regulator at the Department of Agriculture. It seems Alawadia is used in green sustainable architecture in rugs, flooring, wallpaper, possibly from a building nearby. All right. As per you get uniforms to canvas the area around 78th and Lex, see if there's any green sustainable buildings that might use that olive, whatever the plan is. As you wish. Captain Gates, participating in the case, engaging in idle speculation. We are not so different, you and I. There's, there's a difference. We're different. You know, this could actually be our big break. Only we may not have gotten to it if I hadn't recognized Margot's building in that photo. Which is why I think each of you should watch some Wives of Wall Street episodes tonight. For the good of the case. Hannah didn't stand a chance. I mean, she's a small town, naive young woman. She was chummed to piranhas. But, but look what she did to Bob. Okay, okay. Do you really think that she played him? That Penelope was right about that? Oh, that girl was smarter than anybody gave her credit for. You know what? I think you're right. What about you, detective? Did you watch Wives of Wall Street last night? I watched an episode. Just one episode? It's like eating one potato chip. I usually just eat one potato chip. So what's the status on the canvas, detective? Uh, uniforms are still making their way through every building that uses any trace of Aluwadi on the Upper East Side, so nothing yet. Yo, you guys aren't gonna believe this. The sketch of the guy that Hannah met in Brooklyn out that little restaurant just came in. Was anyone at the bar able to ID him? They didn't need to. That's Mike Chalian. The crazy billionaire? And the entrepreneur host of the Financial Channel's other hit reality TV show, The Shark Pool. So why would Hannah ditch her shot to pitch Margot a clothing line to meet with Chilean at a CD bar in Brooklyn? Hey, uniforms just got a hit on the canvas from a pretzel vendor who saw Hannah walk into a nearby building right in our abduction time frame. Records show it's LEED certified green construction. Any evidence of Alawadia in the building? I checked. It's in the wallpaper. She was held hostage someplace in that building. Find out where. Castle, let's go. Well, I will. Oh, you got the wrong blazer there. No, I don't. Let's go. Is everything all right, Mr. Castle? Uh. Castle! Come on! Bob and Penelope together? I can't believe it. I know, right? Neither of them is talking about Hannah. Well, clearly, they have a lot more to hide than the fact that they were sleeping together. Oh, this is a plot twist I didn't see coming. Hey, so I did some digging in the apartment. Ocean Terrace Holdings. It's a shell company. Oh. That's odd. When Bob left Penelope, he moved into the Thompson Hotel with Hannah. So why would he lease another apartment? Yo, I look into Penelope's financial account. Penelope was paying Hannah? What? Why would she do that? There's no way to know unless we get her to talk. I'm, so, I'm sorry, have you seen the show? Penelope is the strong one, if anyone's gonna talk. It's Bob. But he's not. My guess is he's afraid of Penelope. Well, then perhaps it's time to tear a page from Penelope's playbook. Oh, come on, you guys aren't actually good and hurt. Sir, we got him. Where's he headed? Stone bought a one-way ticket to Buenos Aires. Flight departs in an hour. Bob and Penelope fake their breakup, and now poor, sweet, innocent Stone's a killer? Is there anything real on that reality show? Just the headache I get when I watch it. Call TSA. Do not let him get on that flight. What do you think? Do you believe him? He had motive. She was leaving him. 
And he was the last one to see her alive, a block away from where she was killed, so. Well, only problem is, we don't have any proof. We can't tie Stone to the crime scene. Actually, we can. On a hunch, I took a look at his wedding registry. It turns out that Ashley and Stone are registered for a set of Takahara VG knives, including the 240 millimeter, which shipped out three weeks ago. The lab report did say that it was a new knife. Then that seals it. No, not necessarily. We're forgetting wedding etiquette. The gifts don't go to the groom. Mr. Castle. My office, now. And there it goes. Did you really think that I, of all people, would be okay with this? No, I... thought I... You are beauty, passion, and fierce intellect. Be my valentine, Rick. Is that all I wrote in there? Isn't that enough? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a married woman. I, I know, I know, I know, I just thought... Is this some lame hair brain scheme to garner favor with me? Yeah, that's, that's what this is. Well, it backfired, and I am willing do forget that this ever happened if you assure me that you can tame your childish nonsense and accord me some respect. I, I will. I can. I will. And now I will go home to my husband because I'm his valentine. Please. Would you excuse us for a moment? Detective Beckett? Mr. Castle, this is Agent Harris. He'll be running point on the kidnapping. Good to meet you. Detective Ryan brought me up to speed. Badly. I'll keep you. You do whatever you need to do to get him back his little girl. Anything you need, Detective. Thank you, sir. The address Stevens gave you is to a farm off Route 301 that's 60 miles north from here. Agent Harris and a tactical team are heading to the location. Already? They should be arriving at the farm any moment. And what will they do then? Whatever's necessary to recover Alexis and her friend. But I'll let you know the moment I have any news. Thank you. You know I sh Gates. Okay. The farmhouse was empty. Alexis and Sarah are not there. Show them a sketch. A neighbor spotted this man coming out of the farmhouse driveway after the girls were taken. Do either of you recognize him? No, he's not familiar. Hey. They just called El Masri with terms. It's too soon. We Sarah was the objective. Alexis is just a liability now. Then why didn't they bring her to the exchange? Same reason they took her. A bargaining chip. Insurance in case something went wrong. Insurance they don't need anymore. We'll keep moving forward. But we have to manage expectations now. Agent Harris, I'm not going to manage expectations. I'll be solving a murder. The girl's kidnapper, Roger Henson, was tortured and killed, most likely by the people that hired him. We find those people, we will Brussels, find Brussels, 18 hours after the girls were taken. The plane was then designated a medical angel flight, transporting two young women awaiting organ transplant from Brussels to Paris. Alexis and Sarah. French immigration met the plane and processed the girls before they were loaded onto an ambulance. They were both unconscious at the time. That's how they did it. What do we know about the plane? It's owned by one of those Russian oligarchs, uh, Vladimir Abramovich. And how is he connected to the El Masri's? He's not. In fact, it's possible he's not even involved. His plane was in Paris under repairs, and none of his people even knew it was taken. These people stole a jet? For a simple hostage exchange? That doesn't add up. Hey, so I talked to my guys in narcotics. Now, they didn't seem to know much about what Henson had been into recently or where he'd been living, but they did know something that we didn't. Henson had a girlfriend. 